Well, hello everyone, here I'm with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the Darth Vader Meditation Chamber. So on the front of the box, you can see the picture of the set that there is, and the black background, as we've had for most of these 18 plus sets, of course, and have the little LEGO logo down the corner, Star Wars logo, and Darth Vader Meditation Chamber with Star Wars underneath it, and of course the Empire symbol above, and then the Disney logo, 18 plus. And set number is 75296, 663 pieces. And now it's on to the back, you see you know, another view of the set and the dimensions of it and scenes from the movie, of course. And on to the manual, which same exact picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, plain Star Wars logo. And then add for the online survey and the pieces that come with the set of course and then the last steps and also at the start of the booklet a little write-up of the design thing i use the brick separator like we always know how to do and yeah to the two things of the set. So anyways, first of all, we have uh, Darth Vader, of which the helmet piece and everything else, same as from 2015 uh, Death Star dual set, except for the uh, arm printing, of course, which we've had with last year's Bespin dual set. So if you didn't want to bother with that set, well, this is a good opportunity to get that, of course. And besides that, the face print, which kind of the same as it's been for a few years. But also, and of course, wielding the red lightsaber, like always, of course. But also, other thing we have is General Veers. Who, which doesn't have that uh, AT-AT piloting kind of helmet on, but instead the regular Empire officer helmet or hat, of course. But besides that, not at all need like printing or which, but not that it's necessary, but yeah. And if you look on the back, you see there are back torso prints. You see Darth Vader's and both of theirs kind of basic. And of course, his uh, back head printing done quite good. And that is about it with these two figs, of course. Oh, hang on. And so now, on to the Vader Meditation Chamber itself. So like, as you can see, all new build to add to the catalog of both general sets and UCS uh, sets, of course. So like the uh, base part of which, done quite well, of which kind of shiny with all the plates around and also all them like uh, grill pieces in metallic silver, but not fully chrome, but just metallic, of course, and of course, do get the UCS style plaque there that says Darth Vader Meditation Chamber, of course. There's, and also do get a couple of stairways is that get up to this center section, of course, and single stud, which just to position your general, your oh, whoops, general Veers minifig onto, of course, since on the box cover shows him right there, of course. And then, as for, for the main part of which, which if you look in the far back, which now there's very only four little stickers in this set, both on these rounded plates and also that little monitor in the far back, which kind of easy to detach, which quite representing the video chat that he has in the movie. So, 
Okay. But also, you can just look from the back of which, uh, there's not much going on, but except for a single gray clip, light gray clip to it, of which to put his lightsaber onto when you're displaying it with it with him in it. And as I pan up a bit, then as you see, there's an interesting Technic beam which has holes on going opposite directions instead of in just one single direction. And you can see how the mechanism of it goes like where this Technic ball lines with the holes of this. Just to, of course, position it up and down. Kind of like we had with the uh, First Order uh, ATST in 2018, of course. And also like that is a flat stud and that uh, acts as a stopper, of course. But as for the rest of it, which done quite well, and also one of the things I like is perfect symmetry to it. Well, on both top and bottom, like as you see. Some of which do have the like roller skate pieces, and some sides of which also do have uh, uh, ice skate pieces to it. Kind of odd how that is, but yeah. But also good designs with the red plates above. And if I move this all out of the way, then you see that there's a little jumper plate there of which to fit your Darth Vader minifig onto and also those are all stickers onto it. So luckily there's very few stickers in this set. And how this works like is if you get your Darth Vader fig onto and place them on those two studs there and always oh, sometimes the cape gets in the way and then of course the whole thing of it with these rounded bricks of course or curvedish bricks there it can turn around in different directions of course and so now with that you can like close it up with that and of course reenact that scene or reenact the scene where it opens up to reveal him, of course. And oh, what else? But also, plenty of good snot technique going around, like with these these uh, uh, curved slopes right here that are on all sides, of course. And also, of course, the little stairways that also lead up to it. And if you look from the bottom of which, uh, barely much things going on to it, but at least the red, tan, blue bricks are all quite hidden well. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So overall, this I think is a quite good, quite cool, good set, to which make which makes a good display piece, and also do get exclusive version of General Veers, and also another good way to get the side arm printed Darth Vader, of course. And could there be some, and also also I do think there could be, should be more sets like this in the 18 plus uh, vein, of course. And like, oh, what else could there be? Yeah, uh, probably plenty of ideas for that. But actually, and also this of which is an iconic scene that we've never got to see in set form four. But at least great to have, anyways. But also, 
Maybe perhaps this means that there will be ones of Yavin 4 and the Lars's homestead, of course. Well, who knows if they'll appear in the future, but yeah. But also a good build to it and works out quite well. And once again, kind of a great display piece, of course. And if you're looking to get this set to put in your Empire display, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to continue your original trilogy collection, also definitely pick this up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.